Hey everybody, it's Graham Spector here from Grow Socially along with Mr. Jason Pinno of Interlink One. And we're here to talk to you today about something that's been buzzing all around uh, different marketing channels and that is the big discussion of content marketing. And there's no one better to talk to in terms of marketing and the biggest buzz in the industry than Mr. Pinto himself. So Jason, break it down for me. Okay. What is content marketing? Um, well first, let me say thank you for flattering me with that compliment and for trying to wear a shirt that almost matched mine today too. We did work this out <laughs> in advance, right? So content marketing, mm -hmm. some people hear that and they're like, well obviously I use content in my marketing. Right. People have been creating white papers, um, videos for a long time now. But I think what's happened is content marketing is so much more of a buzzworthy term because everyone's creating content, which means it's harder to just create something and then hope it has an impact. Okay. So to try to get people to actually notice and react to that content means that you have to do more. You have to have more of a strategy behind it, create content that actually will appeal to people. And so I think it, what it, content marketing really means now is not just creating content and hoping it does something good, but right. really devoting hours of effort and tears and ripping it apart and making it better so that the content you make actually appeals to the prospects and possible consumers. Absolutely. The one thing I keep hearing people say is it's hard to be heard when everyone's talking. Absolutely. It's and so that's true. absolutely your guys' uh, one mission over at Interlink <laughs> One is to make sure that people are heard. So how does Interlink One actually use content marketing? So I would say that we use some of the things you would expect. Um, mm -hmm. So we have a number of white papers. Okay. We try to create ebooks on a fairly frequent basis. Probably we should do more of that. Mm -hmm. um, certainly we do things like this, uh, videos. In fact, I mean, the videos we have on YouTube are one of the top drivers of traffic to our website. So people might say, are. hey, why make the investment? Well, you want people to see that content and then jump to your website and maybe become a buyer. Okay. Um, we also do things, I'm a big fan of it, the, the pictures we take, right? right? So maybe they don't, uh, taking a picture of an employee doesn't make an automatic sale, but it's another way for your company to show up in Google search results. It's another right. way for people to learn about your company and develop content a relationship. Content is absolutely king for search engine optimization as Indeed. well. Indeed. So with all this going on, all these different channels and all this different content being pushed out, what's the most effective strategy? So the most effective strategy, I mean, so there's different things that people will measure, right? Some people might say, well, how many people click on a certain piece of content? Right. And, and that's good, right? You want to measure that. Um, so I'd say, for one thing, we try to measure Let's say we put an ad out, a banner ad, a print ad. Okay. Oftentimes we'll say, click the ad or respond to the ad and we'll give you a free piece of content if you give us your name and email. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll measure what piece of content mm -hmm. works best. So if we offer an ebook on QR codes versus one on text messaging, mm -hmm. we'll see which one actually builds our database more than the other. Which is great, right? You want data. But for us, when it comes to actually getting someone to give us their information, um, to actually buy the product, mm -hmm. white papers do kill it for us. Okay. Um, we've got ones that, that can be used at various points of the sales cycle, ones that may be more general, ones that are maybe more, have a big impact on someone who's just about ready to make a purchase for a software application like ours. And it, it, it takes a lot of time to make a white paper, but it's proven to be worth it for us. So timing's really everything when it comes to content marketing. In addition to strategy, it really has to be the timing and the right execution. Completely. Okay. I got it. So always the king of marketing tips. <laughs> He's available 24-7 on Twitter, at Jason Pinto. Yes, indeed. And keep following us again for more videos. I'm sure we'll be back here in just a couple of weeks again. So thanks for watching. Thank you.